Hi everyone, welcome to today's wellness session. In today's session, we're going to be talking about what you can do about summer and looking forward to being lazy, sleeping in in the mornings and staying up late at night. But for other students or children, it's a little harder to adjust to the new summer schedule, particularly if they really thrive in a more structured environment. So kids that have a difficulties with adjusting to new schedules or that maybe have a diagnosis of ADHD or anxiety or autism spectrum, then it may, these tips may be useful for those students. One strategy is to maintain your schedule. So while it would be nearly impossible to duplicate the structure of a school setting, um, there are some things that you can keep um, to maintain your schedule or your child's schedule and make them feel more comfortable as they're adjusting to the new summer schedule. So this could be things like the times that they get up in the morning and um, their bedtimes as well as meal times can be incorporated into their schedule to kind of keep the same schedule that they were doing during the school year. Another tip is to make it visual. So once you do have your schedule that you want to try to stick to or stick closely to, um, you want to make that visual for your child. So whether that be in the form of a poster or some kind of calendar that's up somewhere that they can see and refer to as needed. Another thing that has the, the next tip, which also has to do with uh, plans and schedules, is um, making plans in, as, in, as, in advance or as in far in advance as possible um, so that you can communicate what those plans are and your child can be prepared for them. So this could be um, something like um, next week you have football camp, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, or Thursday after work I'm going to take you to the pool, or your cousin is coming to town on Saturday. Just um, any plans that you do know in advance, go ahead and communicate those to your child and also um, put them on the calendar or whatever your visual is so that'll help your child remember it. The next tip is to get outdoors. So we talked about this in a little bit in our last session, but it's important when you're thinking about your schedule and making plans for the summer to incorporate some outdoor activities. And that may be through um, camps. You may be relying on camps to get your kids out outside. Um, if camps aren't in the schedule or in the plans for summer, just make sure that you set aside time intentionally for getting outside to ride bikes or scooters or play in the sprinkler, just anything to get outside and, and get away from those screens. The next thing you may want to consider is to create a behavior system. So this could be in the form of just coming up with two or three behaviors that you really want to um, nurture and work on this summer and some things that you really want to see children and teens alike they like to act like they want to be in charge but um, in reality they really it makes them feel more comfortable and at ease when we front load our expectations and let them know exactly what we want so if we can sit down and come up with two or three things that we really want them to work on or do they can refer to um, to those that behavior list and they'll you can come up with a reward for the behaviors every time that the child demonstrates. For example, if the desired behavior was surrounding um, picking up after yourself like your toys, for instance, and taking out the trash on a consistent basis throughout the week, each time your child engages or demonstrates that behavior, they could receive a point and when they've made it up to 20 points, then they can be rewarded with whatever you guys have decided on that could look like um, picking a restaurant for the family to go to or picking the game for family game night or choosing the act activity for the or a family outing for the family to go on Saturday. Another example of or an example of academics and academic behavior would be if you're wanting your child to engage in reading more throughout the summer or work on their math skills every time they engaged in um, reading or practicing their math skills for 30 minutes 
then they could earn um, they could earn a reward which might be in the form of a new book or a new game or something like that they wanted or even going out for an ice cream. Another tip is to work with your child's strengths and interests. So if your child's not really athletic, then maybe you want to avoid things like sports camps. Uh, whereas if your child likes to create and, and build things and make things, you might want to look into something like an, an um, art camp or some kind of art activity or even some um, crafts to do at home. Another tip is just to try to pinpoint your child's anxiety. So figure it out, figuring out what is making them anxious, uh, what part of the, the new schedule, or you know, is it what is it about camp that's got them nervous, and um, just talking it out with them, maybe even um, gradually exposing them to the situation, um, gradually um, getting them oriented to the new summer schedule, um, communicating with them every step of the way, um, validating their their fears, um, letting them know that it's okay to feel that to feel nervous or anxious, especially when doing or trying new things or even adjusting to a new schedule, that can make them feel more comfortable and at ease. Um, just knowing that you're there to support them and encourage them to push through, even though they're feeling this way, and try something new. I hope you'll try some of the strategies or tips that we discussed today. Um, I do want you to be prepared for ups and downs throughout the summers and maybe even some summer meltdowns. I would encourage you to go back to our, calm, our series on calming strategies by session 6 through session 13 on Wellness Tips with Lori playlist on Facebook and YouTube. And um, I would encourage you to put some of those in your toolbox to pull out whenever you need to or with your child or even practice them whenever you're having a good day. So that it'll be easy for both of you to fall back on whenever you need them. Thank you for joining today's session. And I hope you'll stay tuned for our upcoming sessions.